my name is Angela Freedom, and I'm a singer-songwriter, and welcome to my uh, video show called Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes. And uh, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have some wine, we're going to hang out, we're going to do a song, and then we're going to talk about some good vibes. So um, the title is pretty self-explanatory. We have Wine, Song, and Good Vibes. Um, so a little about me. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I make music that is um, kind of chill, laid back, um, feel good, kind of organic. Um, some people have compared me to Nora Jones. Um, it's, it's somewhat like that. Um, anyways, you may have heard my music on television or film or advertisements. Um, my song opened a movie called Christmas on Honeysuckle Lane, a um, Hallmark movie just this past season. And um, let's see what else. I've, uh, my songs have been on Dance Moms a couple times and uh, also in some commercials, um, ING Bank and Fiat. Um, so anyways, you may know my music from that. But anyways, I'm gonna share with you a lot of songs maybe you've never heard. Um, so about the show, I'm gonna be doing this Wednesday. It's 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. And then I'm going to upload it on YouTube after that. Um, Maybe Wednesday night, maybe Thursday morning. I don't know, it's the first one. We'll see, you know. So, um, anyway, so, Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes. I'm going to do this every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you're on the West Coast, that'd be 6. And in the middle, you got to do the math, you know. But I know that you guys can handle that, right? So, um, anyway, so every week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a wine. And then, guess what's next? play a song. I'm going to play a song. I've got this keyboard here. And then I'm going to um, briefly talk about something positive. And this is where it gets fun because I want to encourage you guys to, to share your stories. Um, so if you have a positive experience or if you saw something just heartwarming or like anything, anything you would call positive. It can be charitable stuff. It can be something as simple as, you know, you helped an old lady across the street. I mean, whatever, but we're just kind of sharing stories about positive things. It can be anything positive. So, um, anyway, so you should follow me if you don't already. Um, it's good to follow me on Facebook and then you'll get notifications of these every week. And also, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could subscribe and you will see the new episodes. So, um, uh, we're going to have themes and, uh, today's theme is summer. And I'm starting this series out with Michigan wines. So I'm going to do a series on Michigan wines. And um, here we go. Okay, so this is from Sandhill Cranes Winery. Sandhill, Sandhill Cranes Vineyards. I'll go ahead and drink it. I'll tell you how it is. Okay. Well, it's good. <laughs> I bet you knew I was going to say that. Um, okay, so this wine is from Sandhill Cranes Vineyards, which is near Jackson, Michigan, and this is Stainless Chardonnay. So, it doesn't have the oakiness of, um, you know, regular Chardonnay is, you know, aged in oak barrels and it takes on that oak flavor, but this doesn't, um, because some of us aren't crazy about that oak thing, you know, I I'm not. You know, so anyways, I like this wine. I think it's good. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about Sandhill Cranes. Um, so Sandhill, well, not the birds. You guys probably already know about the birds, but we do have some in Michigan. You know, sometimes they're around here and I hear them like honking by, you know, flying. But anyway, Sandhill Cranes Vineyards is a family owned vineyard uh, near Jackson, Michigan. And it's a really awesome place. You should check it out if you're in the area. Um, they have, uh, they have their own vineyards on the property. You can take tours. Um, they have food there. They have like charcuterie and desserts. And, um, anyways, it's nestled in the countryside of, um, mid Michigan. It's really beautiful there. And, um, like I said, they do tours and all the wine is made from Michigan fruit. So they do grow some of the grapes there, but some of the grapes are grown other places around the state. And then they, um, and then they make the wine from there. 
So anyways, I want to thank Sandhill Cranes for um, agreeing to be part of my first episode, Sandhill Crane Vineyards. And um, okay, so that's where we talk about the wine. Next week, I'm going to talk about a different Michigan wine. And uh, so the name of the show is Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes. I'm going to kind of try to keep the good vibes flowing throughout, you know? Okay, so we have this theme of summer. So, and this is a good wine for summer, this, uh, this Chardonnay, you know, the stainless Chardonnay from Sandhill Crane Vineyards. It's, um, you know, you serve it cold, it's good, it's refreshing. So anyways, it's perfect for summer. And um, so I'm going to share my song with you called Hey Mr. Sunshine. So you guys get the summer theme, right? Because I know you're smart. I know you can pick up on that sunshine. You know, technically the sun shines all year round, but I guess we're out in it. We notice it more in the summer. We can feel the warmth a little more in the summer. I'm just getting kind of technical on you here, you know, because I had an astronomy class in college, so we could talk about those sun angles and everything, but I think that's getting off topic. So um, anyways, Hey Mr. Sunshine is a song that I released recently. It's going to be on my upcoming album called Love. Um, anyway, so hey, hey, Mr. Sunshine is out there. And it's a, you know, I encourage you to check out the recording because um, the recording features a guitarist named John Patrick Peters. And um, it, he does kind of an Eric Clapton type of thing on it. It's, it's laid back, it's slow, it's bluesy. Um, it's really cool. So anyways, um, in the official title, it's called Hey Mr. Sunshine featuring John Patrick Peters on guitar. Um, so if you check out the recording, you'll hear that. And that really, um, really adds a lot. So um, anyways, I want to give a shout out to JP because John Patrick Peters will coincidentally be playing live at Sandhill Crane Vineyards on July 21st at the... Um, I wrote down what it's called here. The Jazz and Need Fest. I couldn't read my own writing because, you know. So, yeah, so he will be at the Jazz and Need Fest on July 21st at Sandhill Crane Vineyards. He'll be there with his band doing jazz. He's a jazz guitarist. Um, so, anyways, but I wrote the song. This is my song called Hey Mr. Sunshine. Please check it out. You can find it on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, all that stuff. Oh,
thanks for listening. I, I love that tune. You know, I just, I love playing it. And I love it when JP plays with me. Um, so anyways, uh, I want to let you know too that I am not a knowledgeable wine professional. I'm just like, you know, a lady that drinks some wine every now and then. But I mean, I appreciate wine. So I'm not a wine professional, but I, I am a music professional. So um, you can find my music, you know, like I said, on Apple Music, on Spotify, all that stuff. And, um, okay, so next, the final part of our little video here is we are going to talk about some positive vibes, all right? Because, you know, okay, so about my music, I try to write things that are fairly positive, um, that are not just a big drag, you know? Because I could, I mean, I can complain as much as the next person, you know, but to put that out there, it's like, what good does that do you guys? You know, I mean, who wants to feel, who wants to feel bad, you know? So, um, I think I'll have another sip of this fine wine because we're just hanging out, right? Okay. So we're hanging out, doing this thing, having some wine, chatting. So anyways, you know, I believe in positivity. You know, if I'm putting music out there, if I'm putting videos out there, you know, I mean, we need we need more good stuff in this world. You know, I mean, we got a lot of bad stuff going on. Who are we kidding? You know, you can always find something to be upset about. You don't have to look far, right? Just open your news app. <laughs> so anyways, um, so I'm going to tell you a little story about a guy that I saw today. Okay, so here's the positive part. So I was at the grocery store. You're probably like, oh my God, where is she going with this? This is weird. It's like, you know, you'll see it's going somewhere. Okay, so I was at the grocery store and I saw this guy and he looked kind of scary, right? You know, I mean, he had like this big beard. He was this older guy with a beard and he had his arms were all covered with like tattoos and stuff. And he kind of looked like somebody that I was kind of intimidated by, you know? Um, and then this lady said something to him. She's like, oh, are you so-and-so's dad? Uh, some, I forget the name, but it doesn't matter. You know, are you John's dad or whatever? And he's like, yeah. And then, and then they talked about, oh yeah, my kids did theater with your kids. And, and then this guy went on and on about how, oh yeah, your, your sons were great. Yeah. They were just so fantastic in the production and, and we really all, um, you know, were for them and, and they inspired everybody. So anyways, what I'm saying is that I, like a lot of people, have been guilty of sort of judging people based on their appearance. And then when I heard this guy talk and he connected with this lady that he knew, it's like, oh, okay, this guy is not scary. He's, you know, he's like a regular guy and, and he has some positive stuff and some love and, and uh, he loves his kids like everybody else. And um, so, you know, when you see people that are different, you know, and I try to remember this or that, that you have a preconceived notion about, just remember it may not, may not be true, you know. I mean, sometimes maybe it is, but a lot of times it's not. So we can't judge people. So that's my little positive story. And okay, so what I would like, what I'm encouraging you guys to do, I would like you to share your positive stories with me and they can be anything. Um, you can leave them in comments. You can send me a message on Facebook, um, comments on YouTube. So if you're gonna send me a message on Facebook, make sure that you like my page first because if you don't, Facebook is weird, you know, if you get messages from people that, that you're not connected with somehow, it goes into like this alternate universe and you never see it and you know what I'm saying? So anyways, if you like my page, I'll be sure to get your message. And um, so I would like you guys to share any positive stories with me. You know, do you know somebody that's helping out puppies or like, you know, I mean anything, you know, charity work or church stuff or um, anything, anything at all. I mean, I'm kind of running dry in examples here, but but that's what you guys are for, all right? Because, I mean, I'm sure you don't want to be bored with more stories of my grocery store experiences, you know? Um, 
So anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining me um, on Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes, episode one. So if I seem nervous, it's because this is live and this is episode one. And yeah, I kind of, you know, if you hear some things that sound like I messed up, I probably did. But you know what? It's live. I figured I'm just going to do this, you know, because I perform, you know. Speaking of performing, I am going to be performing in Ann Arbor, Michigan on June 29th, Saturday at Crazy Wisdom. So Crazy Wisdom Bookstore and Tea Room on um, June 29th, Saturday. And I'm going to be with two wonderful songwriters, um, Sigrid Christensen and Lauren Crane are going to be joining me for Songwriters in the Round at Crazy Wisdom in Ann Arbor, Michigan on um, June 29th, Saturday, 8 p.m. So if you are in the area, please come by. Um, and, oh, okay, next week. So today was summer, all right? We're in theme of summer. And let me tie that positive story in. It's like, okay, you could see all the tattoos all up the guy's arms because it's summer. Right? I mean, it's kind of, I'm kind of reaching for a tie in here, but you know, that's what I got to do. So uh, next week's theme is history. Okay. So you can try to guess what I might be doing. History. It's pretty open, right? So anyways, next week's theme is history and I'm going to do wine. We'll, we'll um, have a glass of wine. We'll hang out. Um, and I will do another song that has some tie into history. Which, you know, that's like everything, right? Because history was like two days ago. And it was also like thousands of years ago. So anyways, um, thank you again for joining me. Be sure to follow me. And I will see you again next week for another Michigan wine. All right? Thanks a lot. Bye.